Jesus was the master of communicating love and personal acceptance. He did this so often when he gathered the little children around him. But another time his sensitivity to touch someone was even more graphic. This was when Jesus met a grown man's need for meaningful touch, a man who was barred by law from ever touching anyone again. To touch a leper was unthinkable. Banishing lepers from society, people would not get within a stone's throw to them. In fact, they would often throw stones if they came near. With their open sores and dirty bandages, lepers were the last person anyone would have touched. Yet the first thing Christ did for this man was touch him. Even before Jesus spoke to him, he reached out his hand and touched him. Can you imagine what that scene was like? Think how this man must have longed for someone to touch him, not throw stones. Jesus could have healed him first and then touched him. But recognizing the deepest need of this man, Jesus stretched out his hand even before he spoke words of physical and spiritual healing. The promise of God's love and forgiveness are real. As positive as human words can make them, but like describing the ocean, its total beauty cannot be understood until it's actually seen. It's the same with God's love, until you actually experience it. When you actually possess the peace of God, then you can understand the wonders. It is not something that you can do with your mind. Your finite mind is not capable of dealing with the greatness of God's love. Your mind might have difficulty explaining how a black cow can eat green grass and give white milk. But you drink the milk anyway. How a seed can blow and land in the soil and grow into a mighty tree. Our mind cannot understand the infinite love God has for us. Yet in our state, our dirty state filled with sin, God sent his son to save us and clean us and make us white as snow. Out of love for you, God gave his son and gave us this opportunity to come to him and be made clean. We can take our sins and the dirt that we've gathered this week and lay them at the foot of the cross. That's how much he loves you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your son. We thank you for being touched by the love of God. Hear the silent confessions of your children. Think about his grace that's brought us. 
best to last. You gave him your sins, and so now he gives you the very best of his love. 